Welcome to the Kolha Oud Gallery Space. My name is Matt Berkowitz, and it's my privilege and pleasure over the next few minutes to share with you some of the story behind Passover Landscapes, Illuminations on the Exodus. This project began as a commission for a new family Haggadah from Dee Dee and Steve Lovell of Sands Point, Long Island. We spent a year learning the different layers of the Passover Haggadah together, biblical, rabbinic, medieval, and modern, and at the end of that year, Dee Dee and Steve asked me if I'd be willing to take on a commission for a new family Haggadah. The idea was that the commission would be one year, covering art, commentary, and a new translation of the Haggadah. I was delusional when I accepted because one year ended up turning to, into four and a half years of working on the artwork, immersing myself in the artwork of this Haggadah, and then another two and a half years before we had the trade edition of the Haggadah, known as the Lovell Haggadah. What I'd like to do is highlight three of the pieces from the 20 illuminations that you see displayed here in the Kola Oud Gallery. Let's begin with the opening paper cut, the signature paper cut of the Haggadah, which is based on Deuteronomy 26. The reason I turn to Deuteronomy 26 is because it talks about the mitzvah of Hava'at Bikurim, the bringing of the first fruits. And there it gives the Israelites the command that once they enter the land of Israel, they're to bring a basket of their fruit to demonstrate their gratitude to God for having taken them on the journey to the promised land. Those fruits are taken from the seven species of the land of Israel. Wheat, barley, dates, pomegranates, figs, etc. You see those fruits represented in the frame of the paper cut, as well as in the basket itself. And then at the center, you have a verse from Deuteronomy 26, that you shall take of the first fruits of the ground that you shall bring from the land. The gazelles in Sefer Daniel, the book of Daniel, Israel is called Eretz Hatzvi, the land of the gazelles, which means Israel is a beautiful land. The idea behind this paper cut is that it sits over a background of a landscape of Israel. It gets immediately to the core of the story of Passover, Deuteronomy 26. The next piece I'd like to share with you is based on the passage in the Haggadah known as Avadim Hayinu, We Were Slaves to Pharaoh in Egypt. And to understand this illumination, going to immediately flip it around. And as I was creating this work, I discovered a beautiful midrash that explains that the reason that we recite, the reason we sing this passage at the Seder every year, is to atone for the sin of selling our brother Joseph into slavery. And so God decreed that every year we would have to remind ourselves that we too were slaves in the land of Egypt. You see the pyramid? The Ketonet Pasim of Yosef, the technicolor dream coat of Joseph that's draped over the pyramid, and surrounding the pyramid, shackles of slavery. Those shackles turn into the roots of a tree of life that grows in front of Mount Sinai. The piece flips, and in the background, we see a quote from the book of Leviticus, Ki li Yisrael avadim avadaihem asher mitzrayim, for the children of Israel belong to me, they are my servants, I took them out of the land of Egypt. So at its essence, what we have here is the transition from being servants of Pharaoh to becoming servants of God. The third piece that I'd like to share with you is the famous section of the Haggadah in which we talk about the four children, the wise, the wicked, the simple, and the one who doesn't know how to ask. For my illumination of the four children, I chose biblical characters to represent each of the four children. My wise child is the prophetess Devorah, wicked, King Achav and Izevel. My simple is Avram's nephew Lot. And finally, the ones who don't know how to ask are Adam and Eve. One of the reasons I chose Lot as the simple is there's a very famous story in the book of Genesis that says that Abraham and Lot came back from Egypt laden with great wealth, so much so that their herdsmen were fighting with each other. And so Avram magnanimously says to his nephew, take a look, look around, take your choice of real estate and let us part ways so that peace can be maintained in the family. 
And so Torah says, Vaisa lat et vayard kol kikar hayarden. Lot lifts up his eyes and looks out onto the Jordan Valley. We know well that Lot judges solely with his eyes. He doesn't think more deeply about the kind of community that he's going to and ends up in Sodom and Gomorrah. All of the illuminations of Passover landscapes can be found in the trade edition of the Haggadah, known as the Lovel Haggadah. If you're interested in a copy of the Lovel Haggadah, please speak to Fern. She'll be happy to take care of you. It's a pleasure sharing some of the story of Passover landscapes with you. Please enjoy the rest of the gallery and enjoy your day in Jerusalem.